guys, it's Warners. The build we got today is Lizelle. I went ahead and went Eldritch Knight, but I decided to multi-class with Wizard because I feel like one of the main disappointments about Eldritch Knight is you don't actually get to cast as many spells as you would like to. Oh, she's dead, okay. And they're all gonna fail. I can just pick up all their weapons real quick. And then it's still my turn. It's like an action surge. And they're not always that beneficial to you. But with this build, we're able to cast spells more often. And then also, Wizard gives us access to third level spells when normally full Eldritch Knights do not get that. Also, Lizel is a Gith Yankee, gets a lot of unique abilities. And there's some weapons that are unique to Gith that are really cool. Anyway, so we're going to go over the level 1 to 12 breakdown. Then we're going to go over the gear I picked. And then we're going to go over the build in action. So see ya in the 1 to 12 build. All right, guys, so for level one, we're gonna go fighter. I'm gonna go great weapon fighting. I feel like that'll be real nice for this build, especially with the end game weapon. You can get this pretty early on, I hear, by the way, but uh, most people get it late game, if they ever get it, depending on your choices. Forgot to mention, these are the stats I'm going with. Pretty early game, you're gonna be able to get a headband that'll make your intellect higher. So go ahead and do this if you're leveling this from level one. You're gonna wanna be going for a high constitution and a high strength. Fighter level two, you'll be getting action search. So go ahead and accept. Fighter level three, we're gonna go Eldritch Knight. A lot of people feel like Eldritch Knight is the subclass that Lysel is meant to be. The other subclasses, in my opinion, are honestly better, but you can make a really good Eldritch Knight if you do it the right way, and that's that's what this video is all about anyway. So as far as cantrips go, Firebolt, super solid, more control, you know, Ray of Frost, friends if you're gonna be doing more social situations. For spells, I always pick up shield and magic missile, especially at level three. Just uh, really good spells to have. As far as expanded spells go, pick your favorite. I'm gonna be picking Tasha's Hideous Laughter because I have a specific item in this build that makes all enchantment and illusion spells way better. So let's go ahead and pick that one up. All right, level four. Pick your favorite. I'm gonna pick Thunder Wave. And then what I would do is I would either go Great Weapon Master or I would get my strength up to 19. I'm gonna go ahead and get my strength up to 19. Level five. We get extra attack and also because Lizelle is Gith Yankee, uh, she also gets one use for a long rest of Misty Step, which is real nice, real helpful. One of the best spells in the game. If you want to switch out some spells, you can do that. Then we're fighter level six. This level, I would probably go ahead and get Great Weapon Master here. Now around this level, you can decide to go wizard now. I'm gonna continue with fighter though. If Fighter level eight. On this build, I'm actually gonna go heavy armor master. Make myself a little more tanky. Non-magical attack are decreased by three while wearing heavy armor. And it increases your strength, so I get that 20 strength. That's a pretty good build. Now, this is also where we get second level spells. You can pick up Misty Step, but remember you do get one free casting of it per day as a Gith Yankee. So I would probably go with this build specifically. Whole person is gonna be way better. So I'm gonna go with whole person. Level nine, we get Indomitable. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and replace a spell here. I'm gonna replace Shatter. And I'm gonna go ahead and get Mirror Image. All right, level 10. This feature right here, Eldritch Strike, this is what we've been waiting to get. When you hit a creature with a weapon attack, it has disadvantage on its next saving throw against the spell you cast before the end of your next turn. So this is like a pretty good spell on most builds, but on this specific build, it's even better. Get stoked to learn more about that as we go through the gear. You get another cantrip option. Again, pick whatever you're feeling. I'm gonna go with, uh, I don't know, uh, let's go Bone Chill. And then yeah, pick your favorite. I'm actually gonna go with Tasma Force. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go with Blur. There's a lot of reasons Blur can be really good on this build. Okay. This is when we go into Wizard, and this is where you're basically gonna get all the cantrips you could ever desire. And then all those first level spells like you didn't pick up before, you're gonna be able to pick like basically the rest of them. I would go ahead and go with Expedious Retreat, some Long Strider. And then uh, now we have the subclass option. The subclass option isn't super important for this build, to be honest, because a lot of the wizard level two subclass options aren't like super life changing. Like, like they don't they don't change the build enough to really have one that favors the other. Abjuration will be pretty decent. You could get arcane ward. It'll only add about four HP if you get it fully up at this level. So it's not like that great. I'm gonna go with divination because there's this great feature called 
called coordinate that basically allows you to re-roll two dice as an action, as a reaction, sorry. It can be helpful for you to land saving throws or for you to save on saving throws of spells cast against you. You only get two uses of it per day. I recommend divination. It also kind of goes with the divination and illusion spells I'm already using in this build more. And before I go into the gear, another thing that's really nice about this build is you're gonna get two level three spell slots. Normally, if you just go full Eldritch Knight, you don't gain access to these, so that's really good. And then also, you can transcribe spells because you have wizard now. And what's amazing about that is you can transcribe level three spells. So like right here, I have Anime Dead, Blink, Fear, Fireball, Haste, even Stinking Cloud, Slow. I have all these spell scrolls. I can learn all these spells now. I can even learn some first and second level spells that I didn't learn before. So that gives you a lot of freedom. All right, so time to go over the gear. So one of the things I mentioned in my other videos is I like to keep equipment variety in every one of my builds. So there's some items from my previous builds that could or could not be better. Like there's some armor that like, for example, the um, the armor persistence is basically the most OP armor in the game, but I'm not gonna do that. I feel like the emblazoned plate of the marshal is really nice because one of the things that is the most disappointing thing about the plain Eldridge Knight is the the very small amount of spell casting you get and it not necessarily always being very beneficial to the fighter playstyle. And what's nice about this armor is you get a casting of fire shield, which I feel like is a perfect spell for a spell sword character to have. So if you guys don't know fire shield very well, it's a fourth level evocation spell, which is nice because you don't get access to fourth level spells anyway. Basically when people hit you, they'll take two to eight damage depending on what shield you took. If you take the warm shield you also take half damage from all cold damage and it deals fire damage cold shield you take half damage from all fire damage and you deal cold damage so that's real nice for our cape i went with the nymph cloak this is mostly because you get a level five enchantment spell dominate person dominate person is a really good spell as well and then with another item i'll, I'll get to here soon you're going to be able to cast this a lot easier and still be able to make all your weapon attacks which is super exciting now now we have the headband of intellect. This is just to get our intelligence score to 19. This helped us with being able to take more feats, still having 20 strength, still having a decent constitution. That's real nice. Uh, these gloves are gonna be really fun for this build. So basically whenever you hit with your weapon attack, it puts the effects of the Bane spell on your enemy. So they get a D4 minus to all their saving throws. And this is literally anytime you hit anyone. So. <laughs> Yeah, r really easy to get on your enemy. And then the boots, which has got the evasive boots, get plus one to acrobatics and plus one AC. I don't have a shield with this build and I want to get my armor class up a little more. So we got 20 armor class, which is pretty decent. Now this ring is my personal favorite item on this build, which is kind of funny because it, it's, it's a very unassuming item, but I think you can do a lot of crazy stuff with it. I actually have a second build I'm gonna make that is gonna center around this ring a bit more, but this ring after hitting a creature with a weapon attack you can cast illusion or enchantment spells as a bonus action that includes dominate person which is an enchantment spell that includes hold person that includes tasha's hideous laughter but yeah basically you can make weapon attacks and then cast hold person on your enemies there's a second ring i thought about taking there is the hag ring which makes it so you can cast vicious mockery so it could be a cool combo where like let's say you're out of spell slots or you don't want to use your spell slots you can make weapon attacks and then you can cast vicious mockery as a bonus action which vis Vicious Mockery is a pretty good cantrip, but I went with something different. I'm probably gonna use that later. I went with the Ring of Restoration. It just, at the beginning of your turn, the ring activates and heals you for one to four hit points, and that's decent enough, but I comboed it with this Brood Mother's Revenge. Whenever you're healed, your weapon becomes coated in magic and deals additional one to six poison damage. So we get a little poison damage on our weapon every turn, as, as long as I lack hit points, that is. I got the dead shot. So so the only reason I have this bow is to make my crit range a bit wider. So now I can roll a crit on a 19, basically the champion fighter ability. So it's nice to have. And then this sword, there's multiple ways to get it throughout your playthrough. You can get it really early in act one, but I heard that it's kind of like a lot of people are unsure if it's <laughs> if it's meant to be that way or not. But basically you get as a Githy Yankee, which Lysel is, you get to add a 1d6 psychic damage to all your attacks, which is a 
nice little damage bump. And then as a Gith Yankee, you get advantage on all intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws, resistance to psychic damage, and you can't be charmed. You also get this unique weapon ability called Soul Breaker. You have a possibility to stun the target. So that's a real nice, you get a little stun ability. And uh, yeah, it really brings it all together. I decided to go ahead and put a section in here where I show you how to get that ring, mostly because you can get it really early in Act 3 and it is a kind of needed for this build to work. So if you don't want Act 3 spoilers or if you don't want to know where this item is and you want to find it yourself, go ahead and skip this section and go ahead and go straight to the next section. First step is you're going to want to go to the circus in Rivington, which is basically right at the beginning of Act 3. You're going to want to go to this genie and talk to him. He's going to make you bet 500 gold to see if you can win his spinning wheel game and he's actually secretly using the mage hand cantrip to sort of make it so that you can never win so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go behind him and pickpocket him and steal that mage hand ring and then you're going to go ahead and play the spin wheel game again and you're going to win this time and he'll be very upset by this and he'll actually teleport you to the jungles of Cholt. Whatever character you pick to take, they will be there alone. So make sure to pick a character that's pretty strong and can handle some raptor enemies that are level 10 as well as be able to jump or fly pretty far. You'll be able to go up this cliff and you'll find it in this backpack. Once you're done with that, there is a portal escape route down the way. There is a chest there and it has a really cool legendary weapon that I'll probably be doing a build about soon with that weapon but you either need to lock pick it or break the box and then you just go out of the portal and then you're all done let's go ahead and go to the build next before we get to all of that I want to announce that we have reached our goal of 500 subscribers and even gone beyond that and that's crazy because I announced that goal like a week ago and I was at like a hundred subscribers so thank you so much everyone for all the support i really 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 do appreciate it and our next goal is going to be a thousand subscribers and honestly with how like amazing you guys have been i feel like we're going to be able to reach that super super soon so anyway i love making these videos if you have any recommendations of future content and just stuff you want to hear from me just uh let me know down in the comments didn't think this was going to happen and it's been it's been a wild ride so anyway check out the build in action all right, guys. So, you know, I did the usual buffs. I had a cleric has eight on me. Also, make sure to always bond your weapon. Eldritch Knight, unique ability that makes it so you can't drop your weapon. Pretty nice. You can also throw it if you want. Okay, we're gonna do fire shield warm. Go ahead and hit one of them. Nice. All right. I do have a low initiative, which is not amazing. Uh, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and, and do coordinate. Nice. Oh, he took 20 damage. What? And now I'm dipped in poison, so that's pretty sweet. So yeah, I'm gonna cleave these guys, see if I can hit hopefully all of them. Oh, I I got very lucky and I have a portent die of 20, so I can uh, crit them. I can crit at least one of them, which is nice. And they all got Baneful Strike on them. I have another attack. I'll go ahead and get her too. Okay, so they're all Baneful Strike. What I can do now is if I uh, situate myself correctly. Unfortunately, fear is a cone, so I'm going to have to take some opportunity attacks. Oh, she's dead. Okay. <laughs> but what I can do now is I can fear all of them. And they're all going to fail. They're all going to fail because they had to take a D4. It was a minus D4 and then also disadvantage. I can just pick up all their weapons real quick. And then it's still my turn. So I can action surge. And they still have the disadvantage and minus. So I could just fireball them too. And they all, all failed. So yeah, that's fun. Turn great, great, great weapon master back on. Nice, nice. And uh, just for the fun of it, Instead of killing this guy, let's dominate him. Because again, it's a 94% chance to dominate him because of just how that spell works. Okay, and then I got one more attack. Let's go ahead and finish this guy off. Nice. And then this little archer guy is going to help us out. Nice. Adventurer Drim. Okay, well, let's go deal with Adventurer Drim. I'm blinded, so let's take Great Weapon Master off. 
And let's hit this dude. Oh, nice. Let's go Soul... Soul Breaker. Okay, Adventurer Jim is dead. Okay, so we're, we got poison. Oh, that hurt. Ooh, I bet that hurt a lot. Cast Hold Person. 96% success rate. And then we Action Surge. And then she's gonna die real quick, but if she was like a stronger enemy, oh my god, this combo would be insane. Wow. Auto crit. Hope you guys enjoyed the build. If you have any questions or you're curious about some of the decisions I made or you're curious about anything else, just go ahead and leave a comment. If you want to check out any of my social media links, I got them all in the description. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. You guys have a great rest of your day.